This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome back to another episode of Rettinger's Rants. I'm your host, John Rettinger, and this is the show where I rant and rave on anything from the world of technology or sometimes even a little bit outside of technology. Up this week, we're going to talk a little bit about commenters and bias, what bias really means, and does it exist in reviews. Let's go ahead and get ranting. <laughs> So as I was going through the comments last week to film As the Buffalo, there's one comment in particular that brought up a topic that I've really wanted to share with you guys for a while. I'll leave the guy's name out of it, but it read, John, since you seem to change your daily driver to whatever new smartphone comes out, like the Galaxy Note 2 or the iPhone 5, does that make you biased because you prefer that phone over any other until it comes out? If you've ever gone through and looked at the comments on any YouTube video that has to do with technology or the comments on Techno Buffalo when we put up a review, it is littered with people saying, you're biased, that's bias, and I find it to get a little bit inferior people don't understand what the word bias means or even understand the concept of what we're doing. I am offering a review and a review is inherently an opinion because there isn't an official actual right answer whether or not a phone is good. The only one who can answer that is you and whether or not a phone is right for you. What we're doing is technically broadcasting. We are giving our opinion to a broad audience that'll suit a broad amount of people. Not everybody. That's why it's broadcasting. Otherwise, it'd be everyone casting. So when people say, are you biased? Yes, there's bias in absolutely everything. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing though. I'm wearing a gray shirt today. I picked this out of my drawer. So yes, today I was biased towards my red shirt, towards my green shirt. I put on jeans. So today I'm biased towards shorts. That's just the way the world works. When you do a review, all you're doing is giving an opinion. And I try to give my reviews and keep as many opinions as I can out of it, but they're still going to exist. If I think a camera is good, that's still my opinion. If I compare the camera on the Galaxy Note 2 to something like the Red 1, it's not gonna be as good. If I think a screen looks great, that's still my opinion. Someone else might not think that screen looks great. If a quad core processor is fast to me and I say it's fast, that's still just my opinion. Fast is subjective. Reviews are inherently subjective. When people say bias, think that what they mean is you secretly prefer Apple over Android. It's everything you do is gonna be slanted towards Apple. You secretly prefer Android. That's not the truth. Uh, people get so wrapped up and excited about their mobile operating system choice and if a reviewer, a professional reviewer doesn't agree with them, they must be biased because that would mean their decision is wrong. And it's not wrong. It's right to that person who owns that phone or owns that tablet, but to the reviewer, that's not the case. So stop taking things so damn personally. And don't think everybody's biased or against you like it's some giant conspiracy. We get comments that saying, oh, you're paid by Apple, you're paid by Google, you're paid by Microsoft. It's not true. I just happen to like something and I am entitled to change my mind. I loved the iPhone. I used the iPhone as my dedicated phone from 2007 until the iPhone 4S. And then I think Android caught up back in the days of donut and Cupcake and Eclair, Android, in my opinion, just wasn't as good. That's not the case anymore. In the ice cream sandwich jelly bean world, I think in a lot of ways, Android has surpassed the iPhone. So that's the phone that I choose to use. And that is my prerogative and my choice. Doesn't mean I'm biased against Apple. I just want to try something new. In regards to the question about switching up my daily driver, that's so I can get experience using the latest and greatest phone. So I have something to benchmark other devices they come out against. If I still was using an iPhone 4 and I'm testing a Galaxy S3 and comparing the two, then yeah, the Galaxy S3 is going to be way better. I have to compare newest to newest. And at the rate the phones come out, I got to keep trying new and different things. That's the only way to give fair opinions. If I give a phone a nine on a one out of 10 scale, that's a nine to me. And I try to form my opinions from what I think most people are looking for. So as you go through and you try to make your own YouTube videos, review your own technology, don't let the comments calling you bias sway you. Uh, don't think you have to sway your review one way or another to make the commenters happy. There's a thing called a vocal minority out there. And that's a minority of people that are very loud. So if I make a video and I review an iPhone 5, for example, let's say it's viewed 100,000 times and it's viewed 100,000 times and 95,000 people like the video. And out of those 95,000, be only a couple comment that say, hey, great video. But let's say the other 5,000, the ones that don't like it and they keep commenting and commenting and commenting. All I'm gonna see is negative comments on my iPhone review. And I'm only gonna think that people hated it. So don't let that vocal minority fool you. A lot of people that enjoy what you do are going to keep their opinions private. Uh, that's very, very true in the tech world. And I think it's something that most people don't realize. So when it comes to being called biased, yes. And if you say you're not biased, you are lying to yourself and your audience. There's bias everywhere around you. It is impossible to be unbiased unless you're a robot. You're preconditioned to like certain things. Screens look beautiful to me. I'm preconditioned to be biased towards them. 
uh, speed, I'm biased towards camera bias is always bias that's going to exist in the world and it's unfortunate but it's just the way the world of technology works and the world works as a whole. So let me take a minute, step aside from ranting to thank our friends and sponsors at Jack Threads. Look at me, I clearly don't like shopping, I hate going to the mall, but I do like to get new clothes and there's a really easy way to do it. Truthfully, only suckers pay full price. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Susie, but hate wasting all your cash on them, listen up. You can score these premium brands up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Thread, serving up street skate and surfwear brands at prices that will melt your brain. There's a waitlist to join, but if you go to jackthreads.com slash techno, you can sign up today. So what do you guys think? Am I crazy wrong? But being called bias all the time at reviews has really started to piss me off. Uh, we try so hard to make objective reviews, but again, opinions are always gonna be in there and people don't understand what bias means or how it exists in the world. And people get very hurt when you disagree with their mobile operating system of choice. I've ranted about that plenty of times on how ridiculous it is to feel so entrenched and ingrained in your identity with what phone you use. Uh, it's totally asinine, but I just wanted to share my opinion on bias with you guys. Do you agree, disagree? Am I way off? Uh, it seemed like a great rant topic and one that I've really been feeling for a while. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm your host, John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video.